So I'm here in the middle of the uh, the cold wilderness to, <laughs> to talk about um, dumb video game challenges, uh, specifically on YouTube. Now, the first video I made about this kind of topic is the one on MatPat, which was the first video in this sort of format. But I want to make it clear that it's not specific to MatPat. He was one of the early adopters of that sort of the question matters more than the answer thing, but Every single topic on YouTube now has the same sort of life cycle. And it starts uh, with the, um, the innovators, the people who kind of started. For example, um, when it comes to video game challenges, two of the first main channels to really pioneer the idea is uh, GameChamp3000 and Sieve Gaming. Uh, I'll put some things here. Uh, and their challenges seemed impossible or very unlikely, and they would turn out to be possible. They would ask a question that seems ridiculous, but they managed to do it with some amazing techniques, a lot of effort, hours and hours and hours of playing. Or if it wasn't possible, they would try to do as close as they could to that thing and still get a lot of uh, impressive feats along the way. But as this topic uh, got very popular, because people saw there was money in it, um, we see a lot of challenge videos now which are just plain stupid. Because these channels need to upload uh, every couple days, or weekly, or monthly. Uh, and so they ask some of the dumbest, or generic, or clearly impossible things, and then a lot of the time, they don't even try. It's like, can you beat Super Mario Bros. 2 without jumping? And no, no, you can't. Uh, but because they ask something that sounds impossible, they get people to click, and that's all that really matters in that regard. And it, it sucks, because I think what this life cycle shows is that it's a lot more profitable to just lie on YouTube, to just say something so utterly ridiculous that it gets someone to click, and it's in the structure of YouTube itself. I don't even know if it can be helped, really. Because So I've been thinking, like, recently about what I could do to get more views on my channel, because I like to cover a lot of niche topics, they don't get really many views, but I'd like this to be my job. And I am coming more and more to the conclusion that you need to slip little lies into the title and thumbnail of your video. For example, with my Five Nights at Freddy's video. Um, even though I don't lie in the title, uh, there is an implication. That implication is that it's going to be a video talking about negative aspects of Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, it's called What Scott Did to Five Nights at Freddy's. And the thumbnail looks like any generic YouTube commentary the downfall of blank kind of thing. And the implication is that it's going to be a video that talks about how Scott fucked everything up and how it's horrible and how Five Nights at Freddy's sucks and how the first games were great and the rest were terrible, but it doesn't do that. Uh, and whether or not you think that it's like a positive kind of clickbait where you think it's going to be bad but it turns out good, it's still clickbait. I still lied. I gave an implication of a lie in the title. And... I don't know if I can truly succeed on YouTube without really doing that. You almost need to exaggerate beyond what you're supposed to. So I either need to come to the conclusion that I, I need to lie in a positive way where I do something negative or I imply something negative or something ridiculous and then bring someone to a closer point of uh, kind of wholesomeness or introspection or something like that um or i need to just fail on youtube uh other people have come to this conclusion like veritasium made it made a video similar to that uh to what i'm talking about now but it's not just matpat or video game challenges it's this widespread thing that is almost impossible to get rid of and more and more channels are making more and more vague or false, or otherwise, like, inaccurate thumbnails and titles, because that's kind of what you need to do. 
It was a fucking boat or a train. Uh, here. I'm in the cliffs next to a big river. I'm not going to say what. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking more into YouTube thumbnails and titles and specifically video essays to figure out kind of what I need to do, what balance I need to strike. And I, I'm trying to find a not depressing way of succeeding on YouTube. I don't think I'm going to change the way I make videos, but I need to change the way I, I like do titles and thumbnails because, you know, making some video about uh, the out of bounds in video games is not that interesting to someone who doesn't know how interesting the topic is. Like, I think it's very fascinating, but someone viewing it, uh, they have no idea. It's just, oh, it's the out of bounds. So I need to somehow get across the excitement that I feel for these topics to other people. And that's the trick. I need to do something that sounds ridiculous or impossible just to get someone to click in the first place. And video game challenges need to do the same. Um, I just realized, do you, do you see this? Someone spray-painted fuck the gov on this rock. These are like cliff edges, which is why they're sectioned off. But you can like just go around there. Anyways, um, I'm so, this is a fucking ADHD video. But yeah, I, I'm just having a bit of a crisis. And I think the video game challenge uh, sort of video topic is one of the most recent ones in, in recent years to have suffered that same life cycle that every other topic seems to like speed run speed run challenges and um well speed run like history videos and stuff are, are starting to go down the same route it's also a relatively new one because speed running was not nearly as popular as people think it was like even a couple of years ago <sighs> but yeah I, I mean this video is pretty unstructured i just wanted to talk about stuff uh that's it. Fuckers. I keep looking at the wrong side. Alright. You know what? Anyways, uh, <laughs> have a good day.